Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial by me, Bagelnoise. Or you can call me Chris or Bagels, doesn't really matter. And today I'll bring you another fighting. This is the fighting I'm bringing you. It's like, it's a traditional fighting, but a different take on one. So without further ado, let's go. And that needs to disappear because that shouldn't be there. Okay, let's start building. Now where you want to start... Oh, my mistake, made a mistake. You need to get everything... All these items, stone bricks, stone brick stairs, stone brick slab, and water, which I've got water ready. Now to start it, you just need, like the same here, just two, two stone bricks. And then it will alternate with stone brick slab, then stone brick, and then double stone brick up. And then, like we did there, you just carry on this way, so that, then slab, and then two stone bricks. And then this will just go all the way around. I'll try and hurry this up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Like so. And then that we've got the base, this is what it should look like. So you should look like this. So two two stone brick, slab, one, two up, one, and then Vice uh, versa, like all the way around. Now, from here, any side doesn't matter, pick a side. You need to do it on every single side. You need two stone brick stairs, and they're facing like this. Now, in the corners, you need to, need to put stone brick slabs. This is the when this water goes down here, like right here. That has a place to go into, not just there. Okay, so every side, you need to do this. I mean, I say that, but you could just get rid of it and just make it come straight down back into the water thing. You don't have to, but I'll do this because it looks better. Whoops. Now, from there, you need to move three out. So, on the third one. And then, come up one. We'll get rid of that one. You don't need that there. And from here, you can just make it go across. Nice mistake. You need to make it so it's like a two gap between each one. Like so. That's what you need to do so far. Now in the middle, all you need to do is a square. So you just connect it through, but a square in the inside. So it, sh it should be connected. No, it shouldn't be connected, that's wrong. But in the middle, it looks like it's connected like a cross. Like so. Then you need to go up at least three. You need to go three, yeah. And then on the third one, do like you did at the bottom. And connect like a square in the middle. So up three, connect the square in the middle. So it should be a one gap in the middle, and one gap at the bottom, so it's not one. Stone bricks, one, stone bricks. Now from here, you could either carry on doing this, which is probably the easiest part. We could do these. So I want to do this part because it's probably the easiest part. So all we need to do is the stairs right here, every side, and facing inwards, so they'll both be facing each other. So it's like a pair. So that's the the one pair, and then that's the second pair. But they'll need to be facing inwards. Then from there, you just need to go up a brick, like so. See, it's exactly what I've done here. Oh no, it's an upside down stairs. So I made a mistake. No, it's not upside down stairs, it's normal stairs. No, I didn't make a mistake. Yeah. Upside down it's normal stairs, you place normal stairs. And then it's just a brick on top. And then from that, you get stone slabs. On the top brick of this one, put one there, on both sides. She will have this. On both sides it would be exactly the same. So this would have to go all the way around. So you have to do this on every single one, basically. No, top one, not the bottom one. That's what it looked like so far. The next part, which is the second easiest part. Well this whole thing's quite easy and not that elaborate to do. It's an easy build, if I'm honest. You need to come out free. 
No, four. No, it's three. Yeah, it's three. Yeah, it's three. He's coming three. Then a slab. Two slabs. Connected to the stairs. So you could do exactly the same as Soid. Comes out for three. Get rid of the two in the middle. And it's on the third one. And when you put the water, you should just go straight into that. Then this one needs to be done, like I've said before, on exactly the same sides, all the way around. So it looks symmetrical. So every side do exactly the same. I mean, some builds I'll be doing soon, some tutorials. I hope to do like let's plays and stuff eventually, but I just want to complete some of these tutorials, and I'll probably do let's plays if we're doing all want to see them. Like some tutorials I should be doing is some mansions, some just normal houses, but they look quite alright, well sick actually. Probably some towers. Um, any suggestions would also be done anyway. I'll do tutorials and any suggestions you want. So if you wanted uh, a stables, I could do make a stables and then show you how to make one. But make it look like that style, that style. Look elaborate. And this is what it looked like. So all there was was come out free, and the third one's that way. So free. Stair. Then two slabs connected to the stair, and then ex the other side exactly the same we did on this side. So now for the finishing part, which is not that hard, is from this brick. And this one is just four up. So I'll look one, two, three, four. Then on the fourth one, like you did on these bottom two, you just do the same square again on the top. This is the way I just make the water come down like this, like so. And that's why you need the water. The water will just come down from here and come down from there. And that's it. Like these are just for a show. You don't. The water comes nothing on there. Now you need to get rid of these blocks. Not that one though. You need the slabs. And then just for finishing touches, I'll add the water in a bit. Some finishing touches you can do is a stone. And all the way around, just add the stone so it doesn't look like it's just connected straight to grass and it's part of the extra texture. Other stuff you can do just to make it aesthetically better is just the inside of this, instead of making it grass or wherever you are, stone. Like you can make the inside a different colour, like sandstone because that looks alright, quartz. I just normally use stone because I like the other way stone bricks and stone go together. They look, oh, that's def yeah, they look pretty good together. So all the way around, add these little touches. You don't have to, but makes it look a bit better. And then for the final touch, it's just water, and that's it. You complete this build. It's probably the quickest one I've done so far, I would say. I'll do this part first, actually. And there's a pig stuck. Here, pig, 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 here, pig, 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 pig. And then for the finding torch, he's just voila, kaboom. It's just a water coming down, and that's the fountain. I think I did this one higher than that one. It's the way I put the stone brick, but it doesn't matter. You could look too high; it looks weird. See what I mean? So I might add it just a bit lower, get rid of this water. So you know when I said it was four up from there, from this slab, because there's a gap, it's actually just three up, like so. So if you've done that, I'm sorry, but it does look a whole lot better when it's free down. It doesn't look like it's too high, it doesn't look too low either, so... I just oh, done a mistake again. Two mistakes in one bead. I'm a noob. You see what I mean? The water just looks dodgy now because I messed up twice. So you need to get rid of this water here yeah, to make it look like the water go back to normal before you do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure people have viewed this and not news at Minecraft, so they know what they're doing. But I'm just saying. I'm going to do this part first and do the top afterwards. And then you'll have the finest, finest finished product. Can't speak properly, I'm like bleh 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 bleh.
Seriously, I can't speak properly today. And then there it is. I'll just pan over it so you can all see. And that's just my traditional fountain. But my other fountain was over there, the elaborate one. This is traditional. So I should have some more tutorials for you on... I might bring one out Saturday. Like a mansion, but that'll probably be in like two parts or a time lapse. It depends. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up. Any feedback would be appreciated. So, if you want to leave any feedback, leave it in the comment box. And I hope you all subscribe and to see more videos like this. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.